Here with Rowan head coach Michelle Andre and senior player Rachel Galante after their one nothing win over Lynchburg in the second round of the NCAA tournament. Coach uh, Andre, just your opening statement about the game, please. Um, I thought that overall the game was it was probably tricky conditions for both teams to play in with the wind and getting used to the cold again. But I thought that Lynchburg uh, played us well and they played us. Um, I, I thought that it was a good back and forth game for a while, and then we finally it seems like we found our our rhythm, um, especially going into the second half. Um, the wind was definitely. Um a factor in the game. Sometimes I felt like I was running and not going anywhere. <laughs> uh, but aside from that, I think they played us really hard and they get, definitely gave us a good game, which I guess from here on out, everyone's going to give us a good game. Um, but yeah, it was a good, good, exciting game. So when you guys came out of the half, what exactly do you guys talk about um, coming out of the half? Like, what were you guys going to change? I thought that what we did at the end of the first half, we wanted to capitalize on it, like our midfielders getting up the field. Um, there was a gap between our mids and forwards. We switched um, Rachel to our high forward position, um, switched some things around going into the second half and trying to make minor adjustments on our corners because our goalkeeper, uh, it, she's very, very good, and she was the way she was going down on corners. We were just missing tips or she was getting she was getting the save or a touch that was deflecting over the end line. I don't know how many long hits we have because we don't keep that stat, but it seemed like a lot. Um, for us, prior to Michelle and all the coaches talking to us, we kind of come in and we kind of give our feedback on the half. And a few things that we said were um, that we were honestly, the forwards were getting outworked. And me being myself, I called myself out as well. And I said, we need to cut back harder. If we don't make the adjustment and cut back harder, we're not going to get these balls. We talked about that, and we also talked about stepping up hard and stepping up confident. And as always, we reminded our teammates, like, positivity is the key to every game. Like, and every success we've had this, this whole season has been, po like, linked to positivity. So if you miss one ball, you're getting the next sort of thing. Rachel, a lot of chances in the first half, uh, a lot of shots, and the, the goaltender for Lynchburg played phenomenal. Yeah. Um, as the game goes on, do you get frustrated at all whenever you can't get those uh, shots to go in, or how do you just keep that mindset of, all right, next shot's going in, next shot's going in? Yeah, so their goalkeeper was amazing. Um, I hit a straight shot, and I was almost certain it was going into that bottom uh, left corner, and she had probably one of the most amazing stick saves I've ever seen. I wanted to give the girl a high five. She really <laughs> she really played a heck of a game. And I told her afterwards when we all um, were uh, shaking hands that she played a good game. But um, I guess like what kind of keeps me motivated is, um, I don't know, I just keep going. I just, it's not like, uh, I like I obviously get mad in the moment when I miss a shot, but then it's like, I am gonna get the next one and I hold myself to high standards. So um, I kind of just, I want that goal more than anything. But Today, I didn't care who was going to score it. <laughs> I didn't even know my goal went in the net. I was ready to <laughs> jog back for a 16. I was just going to ask you a little bit about that. Uh, it seems like you were just able to get your stick on it, deflect yeah. it upward. If not, the goaltender was going to make another save. Just kind of talk a little bit about that penalty corner and kind of the relief after you did realize the ball went into the net. Bridget Boyle inserted the ball to the top, and it went to Julie. To Casey, I don't even know Julie what happened at the stop. <laughs> and I was I was running in and I turned and I saw the ball and I kinda knew like uh just stick your stick out and I honestly got lucky because I heard it hit I heard it hit my stick but I didn't know it went in the net. And then everyone kinda started running at me. I'm like, Oh my god, it went in the net. <laughs> I was super excited, but I didn't know it went in at first and then once my team started celebrating, I was like, Yes, we did it. <laughs> Moving forward taking on either Rochester and F&M. Um, what type of style game will we expect from either one of those teams tomorrow? I think you'll see a very um, calculated game with both of those, either of those opponents. Um, probably very similar in play where they like to possess. Um, they're they're going to have purpose with their movements. Everything's going to be calculated, um, how they move the ball. You know, if the ball goes to the center back, it, they look to go. They pull right, look to get rid. Like it's, they're, very, they're both very similar teams, um, having watched them both um, now a couple times. We look at it this way. We're playing our game, and, you know, yes, you can prepare for a team no matter what, but it's really about what we're, we're going to do.